So last time I forgot to mention um, that you obviously all have um, CRT monitors that I am forcing you to get um, and to hook up to your video, your VHS digitization station. As you can see, we don't have a lot of room here um, and that could be something that happens for you too. So um, you might not want to have your um, CRT monitor out in your station, but it's important that you have it maybe in your office, under your desk, whatever, um, so that you can use it for troubleshooting. So I have my rack on. I'm going to open my um, Blackmagic Media Express software um, and pop in my pop this in. Come on, when, it, when it's happy, when it's happy at me. So I'm going into the login capture. I'm pressing play. You know, I've just come in for the day. And I want to digitize something. I'm pressing play. It says play, and there's numbers running on the deck. But I'm not seeing anything come in here. Um, so that's weird. And then, you know, you check your preferences again, make sure they're all good, like we mentioned last time, in here and in your Blackmagic desktop video. And then, so it's like, oh, it's connected, great. Um, video input, S video, okay, yeah. Wow, what's wrong? Why am I not getting anything? So now I need to figure out what the problem is. And um, from there, that's what your CRT monitor is all for. So is it the, there are multiple steps in the, the video signal flow that could be uh, messing up. And the first one that you wanna start with to cross off your list of what pe could be causing the problem is your video deck. I'm looking at the um, front here and I see, you know, the time code going, I see it, there's press play, I see like audio kind of going through there. Oh, phones actually is what I meant to put it in. And I can hear it. Okay, so it's like, okay, well the audio is working. Um, now we want to make sure and see if we can find a... Uh, video picture. So right now I'm going to show you three different types of CRT monitors just because you might not get one that looks like what I might have. Um, here's one. So here's a little cute ikigami. Um, and here are the outputs. This is your power. Um, and you can generally for these professional, more professional decks, which this is one of them, you can use one of these general um, 120 volt power. Um, so here You'll maybe notice that there are just these BNC um, uh, inputs and outputs, connectors basically. So I wouldn't recommend using one of these because we want one with S-Video. And we can turn one of these using this adapter here. So here's the BNC on one end and then RCA on the other. So I'm just gonna put this adapter on, for example, and then I get to stick what would be my video yellow in and that's how you would be able to connect to this um that's fine uh just to see if your video signal is working but honestly we want to see because one thing that could go wrong is that it could just be maybe your s video cable is bad um so you want to like have multiple s video cables to connect out of your deck um and you can test really easily if your s video cable is good or bad just hooking it up to the CRT monitor. Um, and then also it could be that the, maybe the S video out on the back of your deck here, maybe that's bad. Uh, if you check the RCA, this one, out of this deck, that's not gonna tell you much about what is going on in here if you're using S video, because you wanna check the exact connection. So not really, I, it's adorable, but not really into this one. Um, Another, this is a not professional uh, CRT monitor, and CRT is just cathode ray tube, and that is what goes into these big things and what makes them work. Um, so that's what we're talking about. And this just has RCA out, so um, 
So this would be something that I could just use RCA to RCA to test my RCA. So if you get one of these donated, that's fine and that's good. And sometimes you'll get one of these that does actually have S video. It's pretty rare, but I got one once, so I was very happy about that. It's sort of more of a prosumer. Um, so we're not gonna use this one today though. And, and I love, I just personally love this one because it also has a VCR in it. But if you get a tape stuck in there, that's gonna be rough to get out. Um, so we're gonna move those two aside, and these are the kinds that I really like, the Sony Trinitron, um, the ones that have S-Video input and output. They also have um, um, BNC, so you can connect one of these if you need to check your RCA signal as well. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the S-Video today since we are using the S-Video. So um, let's, first things first, do we have power? No. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to plug one of these things in. All right. Check that it turns on. We hit the power and we are getting something. And a lot of times with these professional tube monitors, you want to leave them. That's like the first thing I turn on because sometimes you'll think they're not working. But if you leave them on for like 15 minutes to warm them up, they will come on, so you'll be surprised. I, I would I would wait, like leave one on like for a half hour. If you get one, you turn it on, it doesn't seem to be showing a picture. Leave it on for a while to see. So um, here we are once again behind our uh, little rack, and I'm moving the CRT monitor back end because that's what I'm gonna be plugging into from the back end of our deck. So I'm just gonna take the this S-Video cable is gonna stay plugged in because that's what I'm testing. I'm testing the deck. But I'm gonna follow to find, okay, the plug that goes into the input of the time base corrector. And then I unplug that, snake it through here, and then I'm going to plug it into, it says line A in. So I'm gonna plug it in. Remember the flat top in the flat part of the wire up. Okay, line A, and we get a picture. Now, if we weren't getting a picture, um, I would make sure that I'm on line A here, because if I were on line B, this is what I would be getting. Um, so line A is the only option for S video for this one. So that's what we want. And I'm very happy because it looks great and it looks right. So that means there's, it's not something wrong with my deck. Um, and my S video output. So then I'm like, okay, well, let's go through the video signal here then. So it's coming out of the deck and that's working fine. And it was in the t time base corrector here. So I'm gonna plug that back in. It seems like it's fine. I know that cable was working, so that's great. Is this cable, is, is it this S video cable that's coming out of the time base corrector? Well, one easy way to do it is to just unplug it from everything. And basically, just plug, once again, do what we just did, just to test the cable. So we're plugging it from the deck into the same plug that we just plugged that one in. So the cable's good, so it's not, it's not that S-Video cable. So let's replace everything the way that it was. I'm going to take the original S-Video cable, plug it in, we know that one works, plug it in to the deck. And then this is the one that was coming out of the time base corrector and going in to the AD converter here, remember? So wait, that's not working. I see that this is connected and I'm looking and I see, wait a second, there's no lights. This sh should be there. It is not plugged in, so that is human error. And that is probably 75% what happens when something goes wrong. Is something got, and as soon as I plug that in, we got video and interestingly audio, because it just didn't recognize it without its video. I would have thought that the audio would have gone in there too, because that's just coming straight from the deck. But now we have everything because this is turned on and I'm happy with my life and I can press capture and um, put everything away. And I can just turn this off, um, unplug it, and put it back 
away, out of sight, because um, I know that everything works now and I know why. So this is why CRT monitors are so important, especially ones with S-Video out. If I were testing my RCA, I would just use RCA cables and this little adapter, which I can send you a link to purchasing RCA to um, BNC. So thank you and good luck.